components. So, we call our host organism, in this case our bacteria, a chassis. And we think about our DNA as computer software. We think about the individual functional parts in terms of modules. An input module, a response module, and an output module. And when our synthetic DNA software is booted up, all our DNA modules create the functional components of the cell. So we have an input element, which is sent to the surface of the cell to detect the parasite. And we have a response element and an output element that both stay inside the cell. When the parasite is present, the input module detects it and sends a signal for the response element to be made. We have been trying to design this section so that it happens quickly, and we are calling this our fast response module. When the fast response element has been made, it activates the output module. Then, when we add a chemical to our system, it interacts with the output module to create our color response. The beauty of thinking about things in engineering terms is that when the system has been built, the individual modules could be replaced by new ones. We could swap our color output module for a cell module. Or, we could swap our input module for modules that detect all sorts of things. Different parasites, specific diseases, poisonous gases, arsenic, or even gold. But in reality, the specific details of the system are really complicated, and that is why us engineers tend to spend lots of time modeling and remodeling the components. To create their new life form, the team will be building their own DNA program and installing it into existing living cells. The new synthetic cells will take on the traits of the installed DNA, like a computer taking on new software. So this is how we are going to create our synthetic life form. We're going to take existing living life forms, we're going to be using bacteria, and merge their DNA with the DNA that we have created. To do this, we're going to treat our bacteria with chemicals to make them take up our DNA. As soon as the DNA is on board the bacteria, we will have created our new synthetic life form, which will behave exactly in the way we want it to. The DNA inside our bacterium will behave just as new software. DNA in general codes for the functional parts of living organisms, the proteins. And the DNA inside our new synthetic organism will be processed to create the parts needed to give our bacterium the new designed function. The function that we have designed is to detect parasites in water. The particular parasite that we are going to be detecting is called schistosoma. It lives in water and causes disease in over 200 million people in the world, especially in sub-Saharan Africa. When we add some contaminated water to our bacteria, they will detect the parasite and change color. We have designed this color change response to be really quick, so you can just add some water to a tube of bacteria and quickly tell whether the water is safe to drink. Well, that's the theory at least. Designing the DNA to do that has been really complicated. The output enzyme exists in four parts, and it takes a while for a cell to make it from scratch. But we want our output to happen really quickly, so we have deliberately designed DNA that, in advance, will produce an inactive form of the output enzyme. The four parts of our inactive enzyme will have extra blocking proteins stuck to them that will stop the enzyme from coming together until it is needed. This means that our synthetic life form will be ready to spring into action as soon as a parasite is present. When a parasite is detected, the input and response modules will lead to the formation of an enzyme that will cleave the blocking proteins from the output parts. Then, when we add the chemical, the active enzyme will convert it into an orange-coloured compound. We don't want our genetically modified organism to be released into the environment, and one way to stop this would be to give it a death module. But a clever part of our design is that the colour-changing chemical will actually kill the bacteria, so it will kind of double up as a death module.